All right, so let's begin in this session. This is class two of the application of the Shastra technique. And uh, you can check out the details from my website. It's freegregmatclass.com about uh, the presentation. So in the last class, we talked about uh, the 10 ways to learn the words. And I'm going to uh, quickly roll in some of the words. And uh, I'll try to help you to learn some of them. And I'll take you through with the list that I have made. So this is a session on words and uh, linking words uh, by various ways, whether it be Hindi, whether it be a, a mnemonic, whether it be anything. So let's move on. The first word is adumbrate. Now adumbrate means uh, sketchingly indicates something or foreshadow. You can see these two images. On the left, we have a person whose sketch is made on the ground. And the right, you have this beautiful girl who's uh, foreshadow is there. Uh, you can see the her shadow again on the white screen. Now this word comes in from Latin where adumbra means adumbre means uh, overshadow. The penumbra is uh, another word which is uh, in the eclipse or so you have, might have heard those words the penumbra it's we'll just take it out. Estival appearing summer it comes from French uh, then Latin Estivus in uh, Latin means summer, so uh, you can see this bright sh sun uh, shining in, so this is estival. Then we have the affront, which means to open, uh, openly insult somebody, so affront or uh, frontum means to make a face or uh, to strike in the face, so that's uh, the ca category. Insult, injury, slur, slight, outrage are the other words. Piffle is uh, nonsense, rubbish, chaptrap, twaddle, tripe, bunkum, garbage, tosh, and rot. Anchorite is a hermit. Hermit, recluse, solitarity, religious recluse, somebody who lives in religious recluse. Now this word uh, comes in uh, from a Greek root, ana means away, A-N-A. -A. So that's the root of the word. Now, archetype is a model or epitome or prototype. You can see these two archetypes. Now, this is an evolutionary archetype tip in architecture. So, in architecture, we have a model which is called the archetype. You can see on the right and the left. The right archetype is about uh, theory. So, uh, that's with Let's move on. Beautify is to sanctify, bless, or canonize. So, you can see the Pope beautifying uh, uh, the masses. Bequeath is to leave uh, some, uh, something in the will or hand down to posterity. In Hindi, we call it the Vasiyat Medena. You can check out the Hindi word. Okay, so you can see this Bequeath Lewis Coral. So Bequeath is uh, leave something in a will. You can see the image as well. Or in Hindi, it's called Vasiyat Medena. Okay, let's move on to the next good word. So, Krevat is a man's handkerchief or a scarf that is uh, tied in the neck. So, you can see this uh, graphical image of a woman who has uh, the Krevat in her neck. Okay, Hori means very old and used. So, antidiluvian is another one. And Gaff means hooked fish pole. You can see uh, these beautiful girls uh, with their uh, new boats and uh, they're called the Gaff Girls uh, because they have that hook fish pole. So Gaff, G-A-F-F, -F, is uh, another important word. Okay, so can put is broken, ruined, record, finished, endless, useless, which is not function. You can see this caput and Zoski. So this caput means actually broken and ruined. Kilt means this Scottish garment. You can see Daniel, this beautiful girl wearing the Kilt, K-I-L-T, it comes uh, from German, so it's a Scottish dress, uh, uh, they wear it, uh, like you can see this girl on the Scottish dress, it's called the Titet Rilt, I think it's Titet Kilt, so anyway, so that's it. So I'm trying to make this uh, library and... Uh, uh, I, I, I talk about in this my classes as well. Vestitube means an entrance hall. You can check out these two halls. They are called the vesti, vestibule. Sorry, I'm sorry for the pronunciation. Vestibule, entrance hall, or uh, pa pathway, or porch, or reception area. So this is called the 
vestibule. Okay, so these are some of the words. Uh, you will, I'll talk more about them in my class or I'll try to upload. Informative means, uh, look at this old person. He is worried about his medical bills. So these are some of the words and these are the techniques which I am uh, using. Follow means to live in absence. Firmament means sky. Festoon means decorate. Grotto means cave. Procession means uh, a julus in Hindi we call it. Catechize means turn to Christ. Speculate means uh, to do some financial embezzlement. You can check out these notes. Prude means somebody who is easily shocked by sex like Lajjalu. Quill means feather and pins. So all these words uh, have developed this 300 uh, tough words category of which I cover in a two hour class. So you can join in my class or you can download this file from my website. So my website is uh, freegregmat.com. This is the entire category. And these are some of the sentences that I have made. So, where is them? Uh, w E I R. And uh, I'll end the class now because of the 10 minute limit of the YouTube. So, thank you for, for watching this very small recording, guys. And uh, uh, I invite you to join my classes or to actually download this presentation from my website. So, the, this is the list. Now, Vignette is seen. A straight away word. Now, Vignette is also can be derived from the root. Viaduct is waterway. You can see these uh, three images for the waterway. Verdant means green lush. Verdant forest or uh, things like that. So, undulate means to fluctuate like a leaf undulates. Twinge means pain. Now, you can see we have a back twinge when we sit a lot like, oh God, I'm having a twinge on my back. Even this posture is not working. And Tasok is the cluster of cough, tumefy swelling which happens into my hand after typing a lot. So the, the, the tumefy and swell. Tumblr is uh, this drinking class. Uh, she is trying to sell. Trudge is to march and slog and walk with this word. Trounce is to thresh. Tonal is pertaining to sound. Toxin is bell. TRI is crown. Terpistorian is related to dance. Tenement is decaying apartment. So this was all. I apologize if I did any... Uh, uh, pronunciation mistake. Uh, please uh, forgive me for that part. I'm. I'm. This is a long list, so I'll end this 10-minute class now, and uh, uh, maybe in the next class I'll continue from this place. So thank you for being in this very small session, and best of luck for the exam. Uh, let me check out all oh, the list of 300 words. Uh, tough to scroll. So thank you, and bye bye.